This week, you'll continue to work on your first discussion synthesis paper. By now, you should have communicated with each other and decided what questions to respond to. You will fill out a group assessment rubric next week. Please communicate and work together as a team using Google Docs slash Drive. And remember to share the document with me from the beginning. Your readings from this week include Chapter 2, Adolescence, Development and Issues, in teaching in the middle school, and chapter one in using technology with classroom instruction that works. The accompanying chapter two PowerPoint and random self-check quiz is in the module three content area. I plan to have the links to chapter two up and running by tomorrow in my live binder in case you would like to investigate. You read about setting objectives and providing feedback last week. This week, you're going to learn about technology resources that you can use to help you and your students where setting objectives and providing feedback are concerned. After you've read through this information, begin to think about a technology tool that you could develop from one of the resources mentioned in the text. If you've downloaded the PDF version, you'll have live links to the websites. Also, the websites are provided in my live binder. The tab is the same name. If you're currently enrolled in Mrs. Turner's EDFN 365 class, you may develop a tool that could be used for both of our classes. If you've already taken the course, you are to develop something new. If you have any questions, please post them to the D2L discussion area. I look forward to experiencing, experiencing your level of cooperation and reading your first discussion synthesis papers in a week. Thank you.